What's up guys, it's been a long time, but I'm very happy to come back so we can catch up on my RX-8. The body kit has been fitted perfectly thanks to the amazing skills from the guys at Sunside Tuning, which are by far the best in the region. Body kits, tinted windows, car and boat wrapping, they do it all and much much more. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. Alright, let's have a look at the body kit. Remember the famous side gap on the front bumper? Well, one of the toughest jobs was fixing it in order to make the bumper fit and also to make the side indicator fit the bumper. The final result is amazing. The blinker is perfectly inserted in the bumper and the edges of the bumper around it are trimmed to perfection. The headlight washers have also been installed and they also blend in perfectly. The side skirts are also on and they also required a lot of trimming in order to make them fit and allow the door to be closed normally. One of my favorite parts is the rear apron. I had them blend the sides with the rear bumper because I didn't like how the overlap looked and I think that the end result is simply mind-blowing. Once it's colored, it's gonna look amazing. And now it's time to remove the original spoiler lip and replace it with the Mazda Speed one. But before that, let's have a look at the new spoiler. So this is the upper part of the spoiler. These here are the side brackets, the upper one, and the lower one. Next, we have the lower part of the spoiler that attaches to the boot. I can see that it has a pretty big crack on the back. Well, I guess it fits the essence of this body kit. Since a fog light is required by law, I thought of installing these blackout fog lights in the middle of the rear apron, just like this. I think that aesthetically and functionality wise, this is the best position. So let's start the day by removing the old stock spoiler. And it's off. Let's have a look at the bottom of the lip. We can see that it was held down by a couple of pins and some double-sided tape. Let's have a look at the boot. We can see the pinholes and the splatter tape. I don't care much about the car's paint since the whole car is gonna be painted. So now it's time to spray the surface and wipe away the dirt. With that done, it's time to bring in the car to finish the install. Alright, time to get some sticky gum and attach it to the bottom of the bracket. Next, we'll need to position the spoiler on the brackets without pressing them on the boot. Now it's time to measure the edges in order to have an equal length on each side. With that done, we can press on the brackets to make them stick to the boot. Next up, we can remove the lower part of the spoiler and use some masking tape to mask out the position of the brackets. After that, we need to mark the holes with a marker and then remove the brackets. With the positioning holes now marked, we can start drilling them. Firstly, we'll start by drilling out a small incision. Then we'll get a bigger drill bit to enlarge the hole. Alright, so the holes are now drilled. We were very lucky that the holes didn't penetrate the boot. So now it's time to reposition the spoiler and measure the sides so that they are of an equal length. Next, we'll take this rivet nut for M6 bolts and put one in each hole that we drilled. So now we put the rivet nut on the rivet gun, insert it in the hole and then secure it in place. Okay, so the rivet nuts are in on this side and also on the other one. With the holes now ready, we can position the spoiler that's attached to the bracket, screw in the bolts just a bit to see how well they sit and if the spoiler has the same distance on both sides. After the measurements were taken, we had to enlarge a couple of holes to make the bolts sit in perfectly. So now with the spoiler repositioned, we can see that the distance between the boot edge and the brackets is about 2.4 centimeters. And if we compare it to the other side, we can see that the distance is the same. Now we have to mount the lower spoiler to measure the sides so that they are equally distant. Everything fits perfectly. So now we have to mark the exact position of the brackets by tracing a line around them with a marker. Time to remove the bolts and take down the brackets. Now we need to get the surface nice and clean before we permanently attach the brackets on the car. We'll start by blowing the dirt away and then use some nitrous to degrease the surface where the brackets will sit. Obviously, we also had to clean the brackets before attaching them. Alright, now we're applying some silicon to the base where the brackets will sit. It's important not to apply silicon too close to the edge, otherwise it will overlap the brackets and you'll make a mess. 
Now it's time to carefully position the bracket in place and slowly screw in the three bolts with your hand. When done, tighten the bolts with a screwdriver. Next, it's time to fix the crack on the lower spoiler. Firstly, we need to mess the crack with some masking tape then mix up a special resin that's gonna fill the crack. Now that it's mixed, we can pour it in the inside of the lower spoiler and let it sit until it dries. Next, we have to clean the central surface where the spoiler will sit. When done, it's time to fill the old holes with silicon to prevent water and moisture from getting in. The lower part is now ready so we can clean it with some nitrous. Next up, it's time to lay the silicon on the surface that's gonna attach to the boot. Now it's time to carefully position the spoiler on the boot. Firstly, we have to get the brackets through the slots and once both sides are through, we can press it down. The spoiler is now attached, but this side is not sitting down properly. To fix this, we're gonna press it down with a clamp so that when it dries, it will be perfectly attached to the boot. The spoiler is now mounted and all we have to do is wait for the silicon to dry and attach the upper part. In the next video, we're gonna see how the final result looks and take the car to the paint shop. So if you don't wanna miss the video, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like and check out more RX-8 videos on my channel. So let's hit the ground.